Hello guys, in this video we will talk about some theorems about arcs and central angles. So let's start. Let's begin with some terms that can help us understand today's lesson. The arc measure. An arc measure is the measure of an angle that the arc creates in the center of a circle. This measure can be given in degrees or radians. The degree measure of an arc is equal to the measure of the central angle. There are three kinds of arcs. Semicircle, minor arc, and major arc. A semicircle is an arc formed when its endpoints are also the endpoints of a diameter. It has a measure of 180 degrees and named using three points on the circle. For example, in the given figure, arc ABC and arc ADC are semicircles. A minor arc is an arc whose measure is less than 180 degrees while a major arc is an arc whose measure is greater than 180 degrees. Both minor and major arcs are named using two points on the circle. So for example, in this given figure, arc AB, arc BC, and arc AD are all minor arcs wherein arc ACB, arc BDC, and arc ABD are major arcs. Can you name the other minor and major arcs you see in this figure? Pause this video and type your answers together with the timestamps on the comments down below. Done? Let's go to the next one. Definition of an intercepted arc. So what is an intercepted arc? It's a portion of the circumference of the circle intersected by two lines or parts of a line forming angles is called an intercepted arc. So in this given figure, um, angle APB has an intercepted arc of arc AB, angle BPC has an intercepted arc of arc BC, and angle CAD has an intercepted arc of arc CD. Central angles and its intercepted minor arc. So when it comes to the central angle, Getting the measure of an intercepted arc is very, very easy. Because whatever the measure of the central angle is, it's equal to the measure of its intercepted arc. So for example, in the given circle P, since angle APB is 75 degrees, then its intercepted arc AB is also 75 degrees. Definition of congruent arcs. In the same circle or in congruent circles, two arcs are congruent if and only if they have equal measures. Okay, some theorems on arcs. In the same circle or in congruent circles, two minor arcs are congruent if and only if their central angles are congruent. So based on this figure, you can see angle BPA and angle APD are congruent because their arc measures are also congruent. Another theorem on arcs. In the same circle or in congruent circles, two minor arcs are congruent if and only if their chords are congruent. So in this given figure, since chord AB is congruent to chord DC, then arc AB and arc CD are also congruent. Lastly, the arc addition postulate. In this given figure, arc BD can be obtained by adding the measure of the arcs AD and arc AB. Same with the measure of arc DC that can be obtained by adding arc DE and arc CE. So, I hope you learned something in this video about arcs and central angles. Don't forget to subscribe like, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment down below for your questions, and I'll see you in the next video.